So let me ask you, uh, this was also in the news recently that the president was using his power, his office to help in campaigns. This is giving out the, the Phil Health cards during, is this something that's popped up and how do you define these lines? He is the president of the country, but he's also involved in political campaigns. If I were Kamala, it would be a difficult thing. Where do you draw the line? There's a clear line. The, the laws are there, the guidelines are very specific. There's been no violation. The president in all the political sorties has not done governance activities. He has not given anything, he has not given field health. The only field health that he has distributed recently was were actually field health cards when he went to the MILF main camp. Camp Garapanan, yes, yes. Uh, or Camp uh, Abu Bakar previously or oh, something, yes, right? Yes. Uh, so when he went there, but that was symbolic. It was mm -hmm. sim symbolic because the president wants the growth to be inclusive. And we cannot have the entire south of, of our country, or at least uh, down south, having the only remaining secessionist movement here in, in, in Asia, or even in the world of that magnitude. So th that, that was important for him to be able to do that. But certainly the president, nor any, in any of our sorties, have we uh, resorted to giving out or handing out stuff. The president, Maria, the presence of the president in any place is sufficient to bring in people. Have you seen the reaction of how people, when they see him, people want to shake his hand? I mean, I've never seen it. I wasn't there during Magsay Sai's time. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying, you know, he's a perfect president, not mm -hmm. at all. But like I said, what the country really thirsts for is somebody who brings hope. And that's what I see, I, I witness. Interesting. What about um, the LP war chest? Agenda, ang matuwid. Where are you getting your money from for the campaign? Do you have see enough? It. Yeah. <laughs> Do I've you yet, have enough? I've yet to see it. That's probably the reason why we only get invited to a place like Rapla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't. We have nothing to pay with. Um, exactly. <laughs> but, uh, well, well, the question there, of course, is um, if you go by, Chai Hofilenya wrote a book on the 2010 yeah. political campaign. Let, let me check my luck. <laughs> she, it's, in, her, in her book, it takes 50 million pesos to elect a senator. That's a lot of money. Um, That's a lot of money. How are you going? And then local governments come down, the congressmen at 30 million, yeah. I think, and then the yeah. local representatives at different um, levels. Elections are expensive. Um, I, I make no bones about it. They're very, very expensive. A 45, 30, a 35 second commercial now uh, is at 440,000 pesos. Wow. So just, just to put in your, your ad there. Yes. So it's, it's very, very expensive. But, you know, when you have a great message, when investors, when uh, businessmen, uh, when individuals believe in your cause, they will come over. And in fact, many of the candidates uh, in, in, in 2010 or even today, there are some candidates, I'm sure, who will not even spend a single money, uh, cent. I'm sure some of them will even make money. Just, they just won't even say it. Meaning, you know, it doesn't mean just because it's expensive that you'll have to steal it from somewhere. It doesn't mean that you'll have to compromise on things. If, if, if you're somebody who stands for a particular reason, you're popular, mm -hmm. people will gravitate to you. Look at uh, Senator Flavien. Yes. That guy was uh, absolutely somebody who, who could win on a shoestring budget. Yes. He didn't need anything. But the problem today is TV is now accessible to everyone. So even those who could survive on a shoestring budget and get elected, mm -hmm. they can't do that anymore because Otherwise, the, the fickle voter will Which have a tendency means. to forget about you. I mean, you know, if you're newsworthy today, you're number one, you're number two. But yes. when the deluge of advertisement starts coming in, yes. you need to be there. Just at least have some representation of how you're able to, I mean, you need to be in the realm of the consciousness of the voters. So you think television is still the kingmaker here? I mean, it's necessary to make sure you're there. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, a question uh, from... I'll throw two last social media questions at you and I've kept you a little bit longer. Reaction to the political dynasty in the Philippines setting, are you in favor or not? Yeah, it's a hard question because um, when the framers of the Constitution came up with a provision that says that uh, we frown upon and in fact proscribe uh, political dynasties and left it so convenient they left it to Congress to craft that law, yes. um, where do you draw the line? Mm -hmm. There are many dynasties that, in fact, bring a lot of positive changes to an area. Um, it's like um, a family of painters, a family of, of artists, a mm -hmm. family of mechanics. These are the things that you've grew up with, you've seen, and for, a, for the most part, I think 
the disdain for dynasties is the disdain for over uh, I mean as a whole for politics Correct. it's not really the dynasty but it's really the disdain for politics and corruption and generally when you see one 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 corrupt uh, father having another corrupt uh, son uh, you immediately get that but there has to be a, a line where we will draw it because otherwise you don't want to prescribe the freedom of individuals to actually make choices there's no anti-dynasty law in in the u.s or in, in most modern democracies well, we've had two george bush two bushes um. and, and i think i can speak about that because i don't belong to a dynasty i think many of our politicians don't want to say there's nothing wrong with dynasties because they know tatamaan sila but mm -hmm. Ako, I'm not entirely convinced. I think what, what needs to be done is we need to reform the electoral system so people have people who don't belong to families actually have a chance. Meaning PICOS is one. PICOS gives an opportunity to outsiders to take part in it because the cheating machinery is really predominantly after the casting of the ballots. Fantastic. Last, this is your last, I guess, what do you want voters to do in these elections and what is in their hands? I think... You know, Maria, today we face a situation where are we going or are we going back to what it used to be? We truly are at, at the front door of a great house that's opening up. Are we going in and build it and make it and make it more beneficial, build a room on education, build a room on, on health sector reform, build the, the transparency measures, FOI and the like? Are we going in uh, and build that house or are we just going back to the same old thing? I think that's primordial and we could not have found a better leader to bring us there. I've never been one to promote idolatry or you know, having a, a, an entire agenda revolving around one person. But we've never seen somebody like him who is absolutely untainted, who is somebody in the, the deepest and darkest corridors of the halls of power, you will never hear him say or being involved in anything nasty or dirty or getting involved in, in corruption. And I think it's, that's, that's very important. And that's what we want voters to think. Do you want us to progress? Do you trust the president enough? If you do, please support the individuals whom he feels like will be able to carry out those reforms to fruition. It's fascinating. It's almost like you're saying you're building the political party based on the personality of the president. Is this, you reflect this transition period for 2013 elections. Miro Kimbo, thank you so much thank for you. joining us. Thank We've been you. speaking with, uh, on Talk Thursday with Marikina Second District Representative and Liberal Party spokesman Miro Kimbo on Team Pinoy's candidates, the, the May 2013 elections, and what vo Filipino voters need to do the road ahead. I'm Maria Ressa. Oh, send him your questions. He's on Twitter, at Miro Kimbo. And you can continue to use the hashtag, TalkThursday. Thanks for joining us.